In this morning's Health Watch, we're talking about a common concern for women. Uterine fibroids are tumors and muscle cells that grow inside and around the wall of the uterus, which can be extremely uncomfortable. According to the National Institutes of Health, black women are 80% more likely to develop uterine fibroids by the age of 50 than white women. Joining us now to talk about this disparity is Dr. Camila Phillips, obstetrician and gynecologist. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So, Doctor, why are we seeing more black women being diagnosed with fibroids? Well, you know, I actually wish I had a good answer mm. for you. We don't exactly know why fibroids happen, and in particular with black women, we know that there's absolutely a genetic component, but what those genes are and how they're uh, activated is still to be determined. There also is a component with obesity obesity, there's an association with women who eat a lot of red meat, mm -hmm. and low vitamin D levels, and also estrogen exposure. So some combination between genes, environment, that's why we're seeing more fibroids. And there are lots of, as we said, you know, um, theories of what causes fibroids. What do you think are some, um, you know, you talked about some possible factors. What are some symptoms that, that women should recognize? Right, and I always encourage my patients, don't deny anything, you mm. know your body. But the common things I see are really heavy bleeding. Mm. Heavy bleeding during your menstrual cycle, outside of your menstrual cycle, painful periods. We should not be having painful periods. If you notice that you're getting a little bulge, you know, sometimes it's a diet and exercise, but many times it can be fibroids and people just don't recognize them. And then another thing I see is also fertility issues. If you're having trouble getting pregnant, come to your OBGYN, let us evaluate you and make sure it's not fibroids. Hmm. Now, should fibroids be removed? And if so, what's the best time to do it? Well, it's always important with any condition, right, that we try and um, approach it early because fibroids actually don't always need to be removed. It's really like real estate. It depends on the size and the location. Sometimes we can work around fibroids with medical management. But yes, sometimes surgery is necessary, and that's really an intimate decision between the doctor and the patient, the symptoms that she's having, and what her ultimate goals are for fertility and the uterus. Now, black women often feel like their medical concerns are not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. So what is your advice yeah. on how they can get their voices heard? Right. So always come into your doctor's office with a list of questions so you don't like get there and get frustrated mm -hmm. and you're meeting your objectives. I also tell people if you think you have something going on in your pelvis, get an ultrasound. It's a really inexpensive way. It's high yield to diagnose fibroids. And then listen doctor-patient relationships aren't always a perfect match. So if you feel that you're not being seen or heard, it's time to get another opinion. I often encourage patients, we're talking about fibroids, but now I'm gonna send you to another doctor because I want you to hear an alternative opinion. And I tell them all of their options so that they can choose what's best for them. All right, Dr. Camila Phillips, thank you so much thank for being you. with us this morning. And we have a link to more resources on our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.